It's time for Fundamentals of Car Audio. Woo, yeah. Let's pull this guy up and we'll go full screen here. Tonight's full Fundamentals of Car Audio are going to be, yeah, us talking about polarity. Does it matter? This is a wonderful question. This is something we get quiet a bit when people say, hey, you know, does it really matter that which positive, which negative, which wires go where? First off, what is polarity? Speaker polarity is determined when connecting the wires between the amplifier and the speaker. When the positive amplifier terminal is connected to the positive speaker terminal and the negative amplifier terminal is connected to the negative speaker terminal, the speaker will be in correct polarity. What does that look like? Looks like this. If you have a sine wave creating a positive wave, then it creates a negative wave. On your amplifier, you'll have a positive output and a negative output. <laughs> I'm getting there. When the positive wave goes, the speaker will move out. When the negative wave goes, the speaker will move in. And this, of course, is gonna happen very fast. If you connect it properly, it'll move accordingly. If you just have one speaker getting a negative and a positive wrong, might not matter because it's just one speaker. There's nothing for it to play against. Your ears won't know. It's just gonna move. And how that works is if you cross the stream. So you take your negative, hook it up to positive, positive, hook up to negative. It happens a lot because it could be a wire that has a square positive and a round negative, or they just labeled the wires wrong, or when they were printing them, they decided to flip the positive and negatives. Either way, the speaker will be moving out where it's supposed to move in and in when it's supposed to be moving out. There again, one speaker you would never notice. However, if there are two speakers playing the same sound and one is connected backwards. Put the image in the bottom. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I meant to do that. Hey. I, I, that's why I left that, thank you. If there are two speakers playing the same sound and one is connected backward, reverse polarity, then the two speakers will be out of polarity with each other. The sound they play will cancel out. Let me finish. Normal polarity wiring, reverse polarity wiring. At the top you can see where, and I'll move this over mm -hmm. to here. At the top you can see the normal wave comes up, comes down, and that is moving the way it's supposed to. In the reverse polarity, the sound coming in is the same as the sound at the top, but the wires are crossed and now it is going down and it's going up instead of, it's going the opposite. When those two lay on top of one another, you're going to cancel them out. Total Ghostbusters crossing the streams. Most of you guys that have put subwoofers in cars can experience this or have experienced this by simply taking one of the subwoofers and hooking them up backwards. You'll go from having this tremendous booming coupling sound to having no sound at all. Something to keep in mind, depending on, depending on, Jesus, Depending on the size and position of the speaker, there will be different outcomes. Having a speaker polarity reversed is sometimes intentional, but that is a topic for another time. And what I mean by that is that in some situations, you may have speakers playing higher frequencies that are farther apart, and the sound radiating off that speaker will never affect the other speaker. However, to your ears will cause a delay in time, which is phase, which has nothing to do with polarity, and that could cause a phase shift in the car, which would then give you a center image. Chrysler loves to do this, and Toyota does it with all pass filters. Most manufacturers are starting to do it with all pass filters. But that's, like I said, a topic for another time. We hope you guys enjoyed this. On with the show. Thank you for watching.